you're all familiar with in television, released in 1980, which was the first season to challenge Atari. I'd also like to review some of the hardware which followed, such as in television 2, which was a lot sleeker. This is how it looks next to a Super Nintendo. And then finally was the Intellivision 3 Super Pro system. It was the same exact size as the original Intellivision, only it was silver coated rather than gold. There were other companies that made game systems which were compatible with Intellivision games, and one of them was Tandyvision 1 from Radio Shack. And another was the Super Video Arcade made by Sears. Now both of these companies uh, also made game systems which were compatible with Atari games as well. And the Sears Video Arcade for Atari sold very well. But anyway, here are the expansion modules. Here's the Intellivision adapter. And now here's the Intellivoice voice synthesis module. It caught a lot of attention back then, but only four games were made for it. Here's the big music keyboard for Intellivision, full sized. You can see how it stacks against a DVD. And now here's the computer keyboard made by Intellivision. They created a lot of hype about this device, but they never released it. And then finally there was the Aquarius. A very good system, but it came out just when the market began to crash in 1983. And the Aquarius had uh, many expansion uh, units as well, such as the data recorder. And now here's the original manual from Intellivision. It's very interesting. It shows how back then they used a lot of artistry to capture your attention. Atari was even more notorious than in television. But it was very exciting to look at all the manuals and to see the, the interesting artwork. And it created the illusion that the games were more complex than they really were. And now here's the newer Intellivision manual when uh, they were taken over by an ex-Mattel executive. I do have a better copy of this manual, but for the time being, you're going to be looking at uh, one that's not in perfect condition. And 
and finally, this uh, video is not really meant to review the Intellivision cartridges, but this will just give you some sort of idea of what the cartridges looked like. Very bland, very um, simple design. And here's the M Network cartridge that Intellivision or Mattel put out for Atari. There's the M Network games. They were made for Atari 2600 by Mattel. It was a great lineup of M Network games. They made some really good games for Atari.